let us get into our lab now so let us move on to verify some of the troubleshooting here like i already pre-configured some errors here now my requirement here is to make sure that your 1.5 pc or we can say 1.1 pc must be able to communicate with 1.5 so the first thing i'll try to make sure that these two ports they must be on the same vlan so that is one thing we need to check let us try to verify whether they are able to communicate or not so i'm on my 1.1 pc so i'm just trying to verify my ip addressing here ip config and i am trying to communicate with 192.168.1.5 so i can see here the reply is not coming which means there is some problem so i put some three four issues here whatever we discussed i try to put some of the issues uh, we are going to see how to troubleshoot step by step okay so we need to make sure that your 1.1 and 1.5 should communicate with each other so the first thing i'll try to make sure that there is no problem with my switch configuration so i'll try to ping to my 1.2 1.3 as well as 1.4 which is on the same switch i'm able to communicate with them and at the same time i am able to communicate with my 1.100 also which is my router so same switch i'm able to communicate but i'm not able to communicate with the other devices which are on a different switch which means the most likely the problem may be now we can figure out the problem might be on this link or the problem might be on the other end of the devices so let us confirm that so the basic thing i suggest you to start with physical connectivity and here physical connectivity is perfect so i'm not getting into that in detail because we discussed that already so after that you have to verify the vlan configuration so you have to make sure that this port and this port must be on the same vlan so right now i'm using port number one over there so let us try to figure out going to my switch one i will verify you can see the messages here if you remember there is a native vlan mismatch here anyway we'll come to this later on so whenever you see these messages there is a native vlan mismatch so i already configured these things with some wrong configuration so we are going to troubleshoot that so if i give show vlan I should see this port number one is in a VLAN 10 and on the switch 2 also I should see the port number one which is this is my switch 2 interface or I can say show VLAN so you can see here port 1 is not in a VLAN 1 so it is on a VLAN 10 so it is on VLAN 20 but as per our requirement they both should be on the same VLAN to communicate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply shift the port to VLAN 10 and once I do this now both the ports are in the same VLAN that is a basic requirement for us so let me check whether I should be able to communicate with 1.5 or not still I cannot communicate because even though they are on the same VLAN there is there might be some other problem here and I think so let me just try to figure out what is the problem the problem might be here so there's no problem here there's no problem on the access links mostly the problem is on the switches or it can be on the trunk link configurations so now the next requirement they should be on the same vlan that is what we verified now the next thing there should be a trunk link configured between the two switches without trunking it is not going to allow the vlan traffic to that so whenever you want your same vlan users must communicate between the switches there must be a trunk link so i'll try to verify the trunk link configurations now and the command here is show interface trunk i'm connecting port number 24 between the switches here so port number trunk you can see the mode is on trunking is enabled with 802.1q encapsulation and the native vlan is 10 let me check the other end so i'll go to switch to show interface trunk just verifying what are the trunk links here you can see the mode is auto desirable mode it's okay because one side is trunk and the other side is auto still works in our scenario but the problem here is native vlan you can see native vlan is mismatching on both the sides because i manually change the native vlan so the solution is you need to change the native vlan to be same on both the sides so the command is switch for trunk native vlan we need to change it to any vlan which must be same on both the sides so on both the sides i have 
kept the native VLAN configurations to be one. So if I give show interface trunk, you can see the native VLAN is one here and the native VLAN is one again on this side also. So which means there was a problem with native VLAN, I fixed it. And if I try to verify my DTP options, now DTP options on one side it is configured as a trunk and the other side is auto. So I hope this will work. So there won't be any problem, but still, if you want to make both the sides as a trunk, which is recommended, so you can just make both the sides as a manual trunking. So I'll, I'll do manual trunking on both the sides just to enable manual trunking. So interface F0 by 24, switch port mode trunk, that's it. And if I verify, there is no mismatch of protocol. Both the sides we are using 802.1Q and this side also I'm using 802.1Q. So there is no problem with protocol mismatch. So hopefully we fix some of the issues. Now let's try to verify the communication here. You can see now both the devices starts communicating with each other. You can see if I, if I ping from 1.1 to 1.5, I can see the communication is happening. So I really suggest you to go through with these options. Like in our scenario, I didn't, I didn't put all the issues. I have kept these issues just to show you that if there is a mismatch of native VLAN, it's not going to work. But this is something we should know basic things mismatch of encapsulations, trunking modes, and then or the same VLAN permitting, permitting VLANs. So let me just show you this as well, permitting the same VLANs. So what I'll do is I will try to take my same scenario here. And by default, let me just show you that configuration on my switches. Switch one this allowed VLAN on the trunk. You can see here by default port number 20, I configured as allowed VLAN 10 and 20, which means the trunk link connecting between the switches here, whatever the trunk link which I'm connecting between the switches, it is allowing both VLAN 10 traffic and VLAN 20 traffic. Suppose this V trunk link is allowing all the VLAN, let's say here, and this link is just allowing only 10 and 20 VLAN. There is a mismatch of allowed VLAN traffic. In that case, also the communication will stop. Let us try to create a problem here on our own and try to verify that. So that's the only thing to master your troubleshooting skills. You have to create your own problems and try to make sure that you fix them and verify how it is going to work. So I'm getting into my switch one. I'm going to say interface 24. I'm going to say switch port trunk allowed VLAN all. All is something by default, it allows all the VLANs. So if I verify show interface trunk command, you can see by default port number 24 is allowing all the VLANs. And if I verify switch to, it is allowing all the VLANs here. I have put some troubleshooting here. I just configured my switches relating to allow VLAN. So now in general, if you, if you want this user, who is belong to VLAN 10, want to communicate with VLAN 10. So you have to ensure that this particular trunk link must allow VLAN 10 traffic. Suppose if you don't define that. So anyway, we generally when we configure by default, sw switches will allow all the VLAN traffic. But still we can configure that if I'm using only VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 in my production network, I can configure it to allow only VLAN 10, VLAN 20 traffic and drop all the remaining traffic. So we can even configure that. But in case, if you are not allowing the VLAN 10 on this particular link, in that case also your communication will stop. Like I did the same thing here. If I try to verify my devices here, so they were able to communicate previously and I tried, I put some error into it. Now, if I try to verify, there is no communication is happening. So there is no problem in the LAN, whatever the things we verified previously, like they are on the same VLAN. So no problem in the VLAN configurations. Now this trunk link is also configured and native VLAN is also same. So there's no problem relating to that. But if you want, you can try and verify all those things one more time. So I'm going to switches here. If I do show interface trunk, you can see and F0 by 24, the mode is on, native VLAN is one. And if I go to switch two also, it's the same thing. Let me use again. You can see what is on 802.1Q. There's no protocol mismatch. 
and it is configured as a trunking native vlan is also same but there's one thing we need to check here you can see this particular link of switch one is allowing all the vlan traffic but if i try to see on the other switch this one it is not allowing the vlan trim so i did one command just now i removed the vlan turn traffic here just for understanding so now this link is allowing all the vlan but this link is not allowing the 10 traffic but the communication between these two devices happens based on vlan 10 because vlan 10 is the exact vlan which we are using between these two devices so now this link is not allowing the vlan traffic 10 okay so we need to make sure that these both the links must allow the vlan traffic whatever the vlan you want to communicate okay so the troubleshooting here is to make sure that you add vlan 10 to allow so command is switch port trunk allowed vlan and very important thing when you are doing modifications to the existing configurations if i just say vlan 10 i'll show you what happens if i give show interface trunk now it will only allow the vlan 10 so this is something which i uh, really recommend not to do that whenever you are doing these things so make sure that switch port trunk allowed vlan you have to use a command called add anyway i already did that so what i'll do is i'll say switch port trunk allowed vlan i will say question mark vlan except 10 i i did that actually initially for troubleshooting now i'm just going to back so you have to make sure that all the remaining vlans also must be allowed in that case you need to say interface f0 by 24 switch port trunk allowed vlan you have to say add add means add to existing numbers if you don't say add it is going to only allow the vlan 10 so this is something many people do mistakes when they modify the configurations they don't really use add or accept options so make use of this option so i'm going to say add 10 so if i verify show interface trunk now you can see it is allowing all the vlans so now if i try to verify the communication between my devices now i should see the communication is happening between these two devices so these are some of the points we need to keep in mind whenever we are doing troubleshooting with with your trunking options in order to have a proper communication between the two devices which are on the different switches the first thing they should be on the same vlan that is the first thing we need to keep in mind apart from verifying the physical connectivity and then the trunking must be configured and both the sides should have a proper trunking modes and then if there is a mismatch of native vlan in that case also the communication will not happen so ensure that both the sides we are using the same encapsulation and then allowed vlan allowed vlan is something we need to also check out and if there is an, if you are not allowing the vlan 10 traffic on this link in that case it will not communicate because these two devices are on the vlan 10 okay so probably now next section we'll see some more uh, troubleshooting probably we'll see how to troubleshoot your vtp configurations so i'm keeping all, all the troubleshootings separate so that but all the things are related here so thanks for watching